I'm Sander van Doorn, a DJ, producer from Holland. Professionally, I've been into the music industry now for about 12 years. Um, you know, well, as a hobby for about 20 years. Um, started DJing when I was 16, um, ended up in, in a local pub uh, when I was a student, uh, playing for like six hours and cleaning the toilet afterwards. That was my first DJ experience. You know, uh, producing on my on the attic uh, in, my, in my small room uh, with, with completely the wrong speakers on a small piece called uh, Groovebox uh, 303. Well, you know, starting the label about uh, five, six years ago, uh, at first it, it was solely meant as a platform to release my own uh, tracks as a sub-label of uh, Spinning Records, but people started sending in tracks, uh, you know, to be submissioned on uh, Dorn Records as well. So at one point I found myself uh, taking this role as an A&R manager, um, guiding artists how to make a finished product. So I, I really enjoyed doing that. So. Um, a few releases led to 10 releases, led to more releases, and then last year it, it pretty much blew up. Um, you know, this whole new generation popped up and uh, sending me tracks which I really loved. Um, you know, being original, and uh, that, that's the whole sole key of, of, of Dorn Records as well. Being original, thinking outside the box, and uh, such a great music was, was signed to Dorn Records that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just like blown away. Well, how I see my own future is, um, you know, keep on doing this for as long as possible. You know, I, I, I'm definitely going to do this for for another 10 to 12 years. Um, I, I, I really feel that I'm pretty much in the middle of my career. You know, I have so much more to produce and, to, you know, to play out. Um, but, you know, I, I think in about 10, 12 years, um, I, I will stop traveling. I will get fed up with flying every single day. Uh, probably gonna end up in the studio producing music, uh, doing artist management. I really like to, you know, guide this whole new generation. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be something like that. Definitely in the music. Industry. One of my favorite collaborations, definitely with Oliver Hell. Uh, you know, he's a brilliant producer. Uh, we actually met up for the first time over at the, the Winter Music Conference. Uh, you know, he was already uh, talking about me in interviews, like, oh, he's one of the examples of me getting into this industry. So you know, I, you know, I was honored to, to, to hear that. So uh, the obviously natural step was uh, ending up in the studio together and uh, he really truly generally is a, a genius in the studio so it was such, such fun working with him. He was working on one uh, thing, I was working on a beat, he was working on a melody, I was working on a bass. So um, you know it just the track produced itself so that, that was a really really fun process. Recently, uh, it's, I've done a lot of great shows. Uh, the whole season over, uh, you know, over in, in, in the US, over uh, in Europe, obviously Ibiza was, was a phenomenal season. Uh, one of the most special gigs definitely was Burning Man this year. Uh, you know, it was a real life changer. Uh, not so much only the show, but just the whole experience, you know, the whole hippie community. Uh, I, I've never thought, you know, anything existed like, uh, like something like Burning Man. So that was really cool to do. Um, besides that, you know, Ibiza was definitely great and obviously my Identity 250 show over uh, in New York uh, doing the boat party as well as Pasha New York with the live stream, that was brilliant as well. So yeah, you know, Burning Man, this is all experience, uh, getting into a tent uh, that's actually leaking for, you know, a few days before that. Still like water in the tent, no running water, toilet's broken down, uh, but you know, swapping food for like a drink, you know, this, this whole um, uh, atmosphere was just uh, out of this world. And uh, I got a little bit uh, too excited, uh, posted like an after movie, uh, which got great response, but then they told me, no, no, that's not, uh, you know, how it works. So I was like, oh, sorry, took it off. You know, just to share the whole experience with my fans. You know, it was just uh, one of uh, you know one of my bucket list uh, experiences. For me personally, um, it was playing this this uh, event in Holland called uh, Dance Valley uh, because I, I used to go there myself as a clubber, and I remember saying to my friends uh, like in a few years I'm gonna gonna stand here myself, and they were just like laughing at me. It's like yeah yeah whatever. So a few years later, it actually happened. So for me, that was like uh, you know a really pinnacle moment. What do you know about Houston? Uh, you know, actually, I, I fly a lot via Houston. Uh, it's a city in Texas. I'm late there a lot as well. Uh, the, the crowd is absolutely insane. Uh, I always try to go shooting as well. It's uh, you know, it, it feels really free over you know, there. It's uh, and it's good weather. Good.